cloning takes a certain amount of finesse so I wanted to demonstrate how I clone in some very challenging situations period first the clone tool everybody knows is right here and if you want to clone something like this little element right here it's very easy to do you hold down the option key on a Mac or the alt on a PC click right there in this white area or anywhere in the white area and you just clone away sometimes though if the if the point from where the uh, clone tool is taking its information as indicated by the plus you can see right there if it's too close to the clone tool itself you'll start to get the repeating pattern all you have to do is lift up the clone tool reestablish another point let's say right there and then continue the process that's very easy if you want to remove the bamboo pole here from behind our model this is a Korean bride I photographed when I was in Seoul Korea again I'm gonna hold on the option of the alt I'll click right here further away this time so there's no uh, duplication and you can just clone away uh, right you see with the plus sign hit the edge of the frame well all you have to do is take your mouse uh, uh, unclick the mouse or release the Wacom pen from the tablet hold down the option or alt key again click let's say right there and continue in other words you're changing what I call the angle of attack if I'm gonna cl clone this part right here I will reestablish my point over here and clone away now the problem comes in when you get really close to the hat you can blow this up um, you can blow this up quite a bit but you're still going to be uh, imprecise if you clone along this edge it'll, it'll be problematic so what I do in a situation like this is I will go to the pen tool this is the pen tool right here and I'm going to blow this up even more let me center the image on the the pen tool then you can here let's let's say we start right here I'm going to lay down these anchor points what I'm doing is if I were using a mouse which I'm not but if I were I'd be making one click for each point I'm using the the Wacom tablet and so I take my pen and I tap the tablet one tap for each anchor point and then I lay down further anchor points all along the edge here admittedly this is a bit laborious but it is the only way to be perfectly accurate okay so there's the edge and then I'm gonna make a circuit I go around here come back to the beginning now I have a path this is not a selection yet it's a path if I click on the paths palette which is right here there's a little icon right here in the upper right corner of the paths palette if you pull that down uh, let me move this over more so you can see it, it uh, you can see make selection this is what you choose and now Photoshop asks you what the feather radius is my feather radius always almost without exception is one one gives you a softening of the edge of the selection without being too blurred just enough to look correct I can then now take my clone tool again and and let's say I'm going to click oh right right here watch what happens now as I clone away the bamboo pole the selection prevents the white background from touching where the head the head is <clears throat> and if I hide the uh, marching ants you can see that it's absolutely perfect right in here right here it's a little dark and so let me bring back my selection we can solve that problem by uh, going to the pull down menu it's out of the uh, picture area here but it's called select modify expand 
and I will choose one pixel and what it does is push the selection outward so now when I clone here it gets rid of that dark line and I hide the edges and now you see it's perfectly gone. Okay, let me show you now a more challenging area and that is skin. Skin has many colors and tones in it not just one, it's just like the blue sky. The sky also has a multitude of very very subtle tones and if you clone uh, if you have power lines for example if you clone from the top of the power line to the bottom there'll be a difference in, in blue color and with skin it's the same thing so I'm going to show you how I do this now with a combination of the clone tool and the healing brush first I use the clone tool if, let's say I want to get rid of this this red dot here I will hold the option down or the alt and I will click in an area of the skin that I'm going to start with uh, but if you look closely this color of the skin is a little bit different than this so here let, let me just show you if I if I click right here and I establish my point right there I start cloning down here you'll see it's a different color and that's not gonna work well at all so let me undo that so let's just start with the the red dot I'm, I clicked right here and now I'm just cloning away but as I get down toward this area of the skin I'm going to change my angle of attack as I call it I hold on the option or the alt key again click right here click and I, I will start from the bottom until the areas join maybe I'll click right here so I establish a new point and now I will click right here click and I will now clone from this direction now back to here so I'm always changing my angle but as you can see there's a little bit of discoloration here or it's not really discoloration it's, it's where the tones of the skin don't blend perfectly that's where the healing brush comes in we click on the healing brush which looks like a band-aid in the tools palette and I'll make my brush a little smaller with the, the left bracket key the bracket keys are a shortcut to make your brush larger and smaller. The right bracket key makes it larger and the left bracket key makes it smaller. So I'm now going to, and it works just like the, uh, the clone tool. You hold down the option of the alt and you click in the establishing point, let's say right here. And now I'm going to basically clone over this area which isn't perfect. Now I'll do it from here. Click right there come up from the bottom maybe over here I'll click right there and now I'll do this maybe one more time a little bit right there and now you can see the skin is perfectly blended here's a little facial scar let me make my tool smaller and again I'm on the healing brush so I click right here and I just get rid of that it's it's absolutely perfect here's a little maybe that's a wrinkle and we can get rid of this too the healing brush is amazing with skin but notice that I started with the clone tool because for example if if I start with the healing brush watch what happens it, it's a mess because Photoshop wants to blend the red with the skin but that's not what you want so that's why I first start with the clone tool and then I finish with the healing brush and that's the way that you can clone perfectly. Another little trick that you can use if you want to, uh, it, sometimes the healing brush doesn't work because it wants to smear the color too much. And if that's a problem, then you can use the clone tool, clone tool right here, on a lesser opacity. Uh, when the clone tool is selected in the toolbar, it's out of the frame here, I'm gonna choose, let's say, 50 percent so now when you clone something let's let's say there's a little blemish right here we can click make our establishing point right there click and then I'll take the and and then I'll change my direction from right here to to get these couple places or right here and so you can use the clone tool on a lesser opacity that helps blend skin tones as well this technique can be used in all kinds of situations, not just skin. I mentioned the sky earlier, but if you're cloning out highlights, 
uh, such as uh, reflective um, re reflections on metal or a chrome or um, the edge of let's say somebody's eyeglasses are you know is shiny you can clone that out by the same techniques with the clone tool healing brush going back and forth maybe using the clone tool on a lesser opacity and that's how I, that's the kind of finesse that's required in making this kind of uh, adjustment in Photoshop.